knot, if I can see the knot. Ugh. Okay, this is where the video starts. Mm. Happy Wednesday. I'm just uh, finishing up in the yard here and I decided to come out here. Enjoy a nice bowl. I'm smoking this in my new pipe, my new to me pipe with the uh, replacement stem that I 3D printed. And it turned out really, really nice. You know, the, the fit here isn't quite what it was right after I printed it. Mainly because of the finishing. The finishing kind of smooths it out, rounds off the corner. This pipe is a good smoker. And I'll tell you my favorite part about it is that it has a massive bowl. I mean, it has a massive bowl. Just to give you an idea, that is my check tool down inside of there. This thing is huge. It holds a lot of tobacco, which is awesome. It tends to burn a little hot. I think every, every bowl I've put through this burns pretty hot, but I think part of that is because this pipe is so old and it's been smoked so long, the walls are thinning out, and I took so much cake out of it that it might take some time to, to build that back up, but it still smokes out. It still smokes perfectly fine. It doesn't gurgle too bad. Speaking of gurgling, I just realized I don't have a pipe cleaner out here. So what I'm smoking tonight in this is some McClelland Pebble Cut. It's good stuff. I've been kinda holding my my reserves of McClelland blends to, you know, once in a great while. Because I'm not gonna be able to get them anymore, so you know, it's the way that goes, but I don't know enough to last me for the rest of my life, so. I'm still gonna smoke it, just not as fast. Today has been kind of one of those days. I'm busy all day at work and I don't feel like I got anything done. I come home and I'm busy all night here at home. Although, I do feel like I got some stuff done at home here. Came home and mowed the grass. And yes, it needed it. I just did it the other day and it's growing like crazy, so did it again. I'm not going to be able to do it tomorrow because I'm not going to be here, and <clears throat> it's supposed to be rainy the rest of the week after that, so probably just won't get the chance. So I figured I'd mow it tonight and take my chances. Yeah, so the other thing that I did after I got home is I noticed in all of my aspen trees out front that I had an aphid infestation which kind of took me by surprise because usually 
Usually around here, the aphids in, uh, invade the ash trees and not the aspens, but sure as heck, I had a whole bunch of aphids in my aspens. So, give me an excuse to get out the power washer and just blow them off of the tree. Don't know that there's much else you can do. There's probably sprays and stuff that you could put on there, but I opted for the blunt force method of high pressure water. Yeah, the, the problem with that is that when you do that, the aphids destroy the leaves that they nest up in. And when you take the power washer to it, you just lose all those leaves. They just come off. But I don't think it's gonna hurt the trees too much and there's no aphids left in there. So got that going for me. As long as they don't come back or if I, as long as I don't get some more. It's funny how they invaded the trees out front, the aspen trees out front. They did not invade my apple tree and they did not invade my pear tree. And they didn't invade my aspen tree that's out here in the back. You know, I got a half of mine. So pay no attention to what's behind the camera. I have a half of mine to take you on a tour of the lawn here just to show you what I'm dealing with. I maybe even show you the aphids or what's left of the aphids. Matter of fact, let's do that. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, get situated here, and then we will go take a walk. We'll be right back. Okay. So here's what we got going on. I'm gonna just take a walk around the yard here, show you a couple things, and then we'll go out front, and I'll show you the damage from the aphids. Here we go. As you can see, I got a couple of aspen trees out back here. This one here didn't uh, didn't fall pro. Oh, you know what? Yes, it did. Right there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. 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 Right there. We have aphids. And here, we have aphids. So, that means I need to come out and power wash this guy again. Again, for the first time. Come on now, focus. Let's, uh, let's come over here and see if we got aphids in my, in my baby aspen here. You know? I don't see any in this guy. So I think we're good to go. Definitely we'll have to hit this guy up with the power washer. See if I can see some more. Mm. Okay, I'm back. Had to deal with the wife. So here's the grass that I've got going on. And as you can see, I got nice, thick grass. This grass back here is coming in really nice. It's that Melorganite, man, I'm telling you. It's good stuff. So, let's come this way. There's my vine. I let that, I let this grow up this fence because the top of the fence is only five feet high, about here, and the top of the vine is about a foot higher, so it buys me an extra foot of fence. Now, you can see my two baby lilacs that I planted the other day. Tried to show them in a video, but it was it's stinking dark. gonna be some good looking bushes and the reason that I planted them here is that from the front yard these are gonna get I don't know maybe this high 
So from the front yard, you'll see all these trees and then you'll have a, a fence and then behind the fence, you'll have a nice backdrop of lilac bushes, which is gonna be nice. And then here's my Austrian pine. I recently chopped the lower branches off to make it easier to get under with the lawnmower. Believe it or not, this tree was about this tall when I planted it. It's made me pretty happy. Man, look at the grass. Look at all the grass. It looks so nice this year. You know, this camera, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but it is really nice. Get some more vine back here. The mailbox is right there, so I'm trying to build a little bit of a privacy from that when people come to get their mail. All right, let's go out front and check it out. So here we have what's left of the tree after the aphids. This whole, this whole area was infested with aphids. And as a matter of fact, right here, let's see if I can focus it. Come on, focus. It's not gonna focus. I might still have a few. Oh, here's, here's a place where I missed a couple. But, for the most part, I got him. And there's this big guy. He had aphids all up in him. And all of these guys, they all had aphids. You can see. And it looks like I still have some aphids coming back. You know, I thought I had them all. Here, here, but you can see where they were. I had a whole lot more. Maybe what's left, the uh, the ladybugs will take care of it. See all the leaves that I blasted off. This guy had some, quite a few also. Believe it or not, the apple tree didn't get any. Apparently they don't like apple trees, which is good. My vines, when this, when this is in full, this whole part of the fence is just green, which is amazing. And then my pear, pear tree. Another one of my Austrian pines, same, the same thing. When I planted it, it was that tall. But we got some nice grass going over here. Some flowers. Strawberry patch. Let's come over here and check out the line of domination. See how we're looking. Not quite there yet. And I have some dead spots in this general area where I had a bad mix of weed killer. I had it mixed too strong. Yeah bonehead mistake on my part. But, all right, so let's swing back out here. And I think I might actually close. Just showing off the grass. There's the, the uh, competition. 
That fool tries to dominate me, but there's no way. <laughs> All right, everybody. I think that's going to do it. So, until next time.